All right. I'm going to tell you a few things. First of all, if you're going to go and, you know, slaughter a pig, these are the pieces of the pig. Uh, what else do I want to tell you? It's never going to be easy because all of my characters keep leaving. I wanted Officer George Gross to come and give us a lecture, and George won't appear on camera. So here I am. I'm, you know, I'm just me, and uh, I was supposed to give some talks about how we move from 5D to 3D because 5D is the fifth dimension and that's sort of the realm of unconditional love it's uh, a place where we don't have money we don't have to buy things we gift things back and forth to one another uh, you don't have a monthly utility bill you go to the grocery store and, and um, you know, you don't have to pay for things. You go to the car lot and you pick up your new car. And uh, robots will build the cars. And, um, you know, the things that people have to do, they'll just do the ones, things that they really enjoy doing. So if you love cooking lasagna, maybe you'll cook three lasagnas. And, you know, you'll have some and your, the other people in your neighborhood will have some. I don't, something like that. Um, the point of it all is when you're having to clean up the messes from 3D, how do you do it in a 5D fashion? Uh, the most difficult things are uh, the capital crimes. In other words, what do you do with people who are extortionists, who are rapists, who are murderers, who are child killers, who are cop killers? Uh, what do you do with corrupt politicians? What do you do with corrupt corporations? What do you do with all the people who have um, 401k plans that have invested in these corporations that are, you know, doing corporate things? The whole thing is, uh, I don't know, I tried to figure it out and I can't figure it out. It's uh, not going to be easy because not everyone is in 5d thinking there's a hell of a lot of people that are still i still gonna go and you're gonna pay me if i'm gonna do some plumbing for you because i'm still using money when i go to the grocery store so i don't know it doesn't seem to have a good answer and it's not up to me to figure it out yes it is because i'm in the fifth dimension I calibrate at 540 on the scale of, of uh, human consciousness, and so it's up to me to figure it out. I mean, are you just going to unlock all the prisons and let all the prisoners out? Or are you going to just build more prisons and put a lot more of these corrupt people into jail? For how long? What are they going to be doing while they're in jail? It is endless, the number of questions that come up. And the solutions are most likely not going to be easy. Because how do you explain to someone whose family member was murdered that, you know, you've decided to let the murderer go? It's not going to be easy. It's not going to be. I mean, maybe that's what my projection is. It sounds like a nightmare. Where are we going to go with law reform? What is going to be allowed? I mean, religious laws used to be so stupid. You couldn't um, shop on a Sunday at one time. And uh, there was all kinds of things. Well, I'll give you 1970s television. Every time you turned on any show that was uh, aired after 9 p.m., uh, you had uh, shootings and murders. Everything was cop shows, shootings and murders. 
Uh, and well, anything to do with sex was not really allowed. Uh, and there was zero uh, allowed to do with real love. I mean, if you saw people who were married, usually they were fighting and throwing pots and pans at one another. So what are you trying to go and tell your society using media? Well, in those days, basically, um, it was the Wild West show, and uh, that's what they were telling people. And then what do you want to tell people? Well, in, you know, the 1970s, the 1980s, 1990s, Hollywood movies, you know, I was... I was a teen in the late 70s and the 1980s. And primarily Hollywood was saying adults are all stupid jackasses and they're trying to stop you from having fun. If you want to have fun, go out and hang with your friends, get laid, get drunk, smoke weed, and uh, tell the adults to go and... So, um, what did most people in their teens in those years do? Mostly that. Um, so, if that's the society, because, you know, you basically get your role models from your Hollywood movie stars, uh, what about ethical dilemmas? You know, like... Everything to do with... The gap between these old religious laws where you couldn't even shop on Sunday to, um, well, should Hollywood be allowed to show teenagers going to teen parties and screwing around, getting drunk and screwing around? Where are you going to draw your new social mores, your new social boundaries? I mean, let's not forget that in most countries of the world, you can get guns and knives and you can buy poison. And, you know, there's all kinds of ways that you can hurt people. So are you going to have it? So, all right, well, anybody can go and, you know. This doesn't seem to be correct to my way of looking at it. In other words, I don't believe in anarchy as a free-for-all where do what you will is uh, okay for everyone. You have to have some kind of societal norms. Where are the norms going to be? How are you going to figure this out? Are you going to just study all the old laws from human history? They didn't really work, did they? They didn't really stop crime. What do you do about people who are like S&M for their sexual encounters? Are you going to say, well, there's no tying people up? How are you going to know what people are really thinking when they are participating in these kind of things? Body modification. Some people find body modifications and like, you know, me sticking an earring through my nose. That's okay. But if you're going to, you know, cut your dick off and become a woman. <gasps> Not in my world. I don't want to tell you that these broad strokes never cover up the individuals who are, you know, I was born a man, but I really want to be a woman, and I have, you know, since I was five. I'm just going to look the other way. Um, where do you draw the line? You know, do you need to be an adult before you decide you're going to, you know, have transgender sex operation? Where's adulthood? 18, 19, 20, 21? 75, it makes everyone squeamish. Um, and then what about this poor little piggy? We're still, you know, openly selling pig parts to eat as meat for your local barbecue. 
But there's plenty of people who have little pet piggies. You know, in our society, we think it's totally wrong to eat dog meat or horse meat. But in other countries, they do. Cannibalism, anyone? It's just, you know, a Hollywood joke. What if we grow human stem cells so you can have a human steak sandwich when you didn't kill anybody to have your steak sandwich? I mean, are people really cannibal? Well, if they're not doing it today, they certainly did it, you know, down the South Seas. Didn't they? Cannibalism in the South Seas. That's where they got that original brain disease you know it's like uh, sheep get scrapey and humans get it's that thing you know if you eat other human brains you get that disease with you know it's prion disease are we going to stop eating piggies and just have them as pets i mean if you said to your neighbor, you know, I want to have your dog for dinner, and it's not like you're going to put Alpo out for your dog. You're going to like serve up the neighbor's dog as Alpo for all your friends. I don't think he's going to like that. If your neighbor's pet is a pig, where are you going to draw the line? I only bring these topics up because they seem to be the topics of the day. And um, asking me where to draw the line, I'm going to tell you the truth. I have a very hard time coming up with an answer. Most of all, I don't want you eating me. I don't want you hurting me. And I don't want you hurting the people that I love. And if they want to go and do things like have a sex change, um, I'm getting very squeamish. Because what if, you know, you have a sex change when you're 17 and you're 27 and you decide oh, that was a big mistake? And some of these things I don't think are really reversible. That's all I have for you for now.